Good Sunday, Piedmont Triad. Of, uh, oh, we're tracking Hurricane Dorian that has just gotten much, much stronger today. Believe it or not, of course, Category 5 storm. It's been a Category 5 since this morning. But sustained winds now, incredible, 100 80 mile per hour sustained winds with this storm, uh, and uh, certainly wind gust at or even over 200 miles per hour. Look at it on the satellite movie. This is probably one of the most uh, healthy looking hurricanes I've ever seen on a satellite movie. Very circular, uh, very well organized, just a, a machine, if you will, a monster storm. And look at this well-defined eye. Here are the Bahama Islands here. It's beginning to work its way into the easternmost Bahama Islands right now. It's moving off to the west. It's slowed down just a tad. It's moving off to the west now at about seven miles per hour. And here's the latest information with the 11 a.m. advisory. Now, Category 5, that's as high as we go on the scale. We don't even have a scale that goes any higher. Uh, and again, winds uh, 180 miles per hour, slowing down just a little bit, out of moving to the west now at about uh, 7 miles per hour, and uh, just beginning to work into those eastern islands of uh, the Bahamas. And the Bahamas are just just going to get ripped uh, with this storm today and tonight. It's going to be a very strong Category 5 as it slowly moves through the Bahamas today and tonight. We're still looking at our forecast models, uh, kind of bunching up. Uh, and we look for these lines to be close together, superimposing all of our computer models uh, on a graphic here. And when they're close together, that means the models are in fairly good agreement. Uh, approaching the west coast or the east coast of Florida, if you will, and likely slowing down by later Monday and into Tuesday. And when storms slow down, that can indicate that they're getting ready to change direction. And that's what we're going to be watching, a turn to the north. The sooner, the better. A later turn would mean landfall in eastern Florida. A quicker turn means that the storm would kind of scoot the east coast of Florida. Once it does make a northerly turn, then we got to watch for a northeasterly turn. The sooner, the better. If it does it quickly and abruptly, it would move farther out to sea. But right now, these models are kind of bunching uh, right off the coast of Florida, off the coast of Georgia, and off of the coast of North and South Carolina. Now, you take all these models and you put them together, and uh, of course, you see that we are in the high-risk category, alert category, from the Outer Banks down through Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, Charleston, Savannah. Anna, Jacksonville, and of course, all the way into eastern Florida as well. So we're hoping that the storm will stay offshore, turn quickly to the north, and then uh, quickly to the northeast. And there is a possibility that the eye, the most intense 180 mile per hour winds, will not move inland anywhere except for the Bahamas. Now, the Bahamas are getting crushed right now. But if we can get this storm to turn to the north and northeast, it may actually never make landfall in uh, the United States. But we got to look for those turns. And if there's any delay in that north turn or that northeasterly turn, it is going to make landfall somewhere between Florida and North and South Carolina. Let's look at the official uh, computer forecast here. This is when we take all the models and we put them together and we come up with one unified forecast. And this is where it was located at 11 o'clock moving into the eastern Bahamas. We put it in motion. And it slows down. It really slows down as it uh, approaches the east coast of Florida as a Category 5, weakening a little to a Category 4, but remaining offshore even on Tuesday with winds of 140 miles per hour. So we're expecting this turn, this turn to the north. Again, the sooner the better uh, for our friends in Florida. And then tracking pretty much up the east coast and then looking for that second northeaster 
southerly turn as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Depending on how quickly it turns, it may be a little bit closer to the coast. It could move inland over uh, eastern North Carolina. Uh, if it turns quicker, it would be farther offshore. But the official track has uh, Thursday morning Category 2 storm between Myrtle Beach and Charleston with winds of about 100 miles per hour with higher gusts and then moving by Wilmington, Moorhead City, and then off the Outer Banks on Friday morning. Although we expect it to slow down as it approaches Florida and hopefully changes that quick direction to the north, as it gains latitude and goes up the South Carolina, North Carolina coast, it is going to be moving faster. It gets caught in the stronger upper level winds and that starts to really carry the storm away. Uh, really, uh, one of the most powerful hurricanes uh, ever observed in uh, the Atlantic Basin. I've looked up some information here. What is the most powerful hurricane? Well, you got to go back to the year 2005. Many of us remember the very destructive hurricane Wilma. Wilma, the strongest hurricane ever in the Atlantic Basin. Maximum sustained winds, 185 miles per hour. This storm is only five miles per hour below that. It'll be interesting to see what happens for the rest of the day. The strongest storm ever recorded in the world, Patricia. That was back in 2015. Sustained winds. This was a storm that was in the Pacific. Sustained winds, 215 miles per hour. The strongest hurricane ever measured on Earth. And this is one of the strongest, and of course we're going to continue to track it together. Make sure you stay with us here at WFMY News 2. It's still early uh, to say that it's going to ever have an impact on us here in uh, the triad. If it stays just offshore, well, we could get some passing showers, but no worries about wind or torrential rains or anything like that. But a little jog to the west would be a greater threat for us here in the Piedmont. What we're looking for, a quick turn to the north and then a quick turn to the northeast and not bothering anybody. Best case scenario there. Stay with us. Of course, we'll continue to update you on social media and on our uh, webpage, WFMYNews2.com. You'll get the latest right here on WFMY News 2. Thank you and have a good day.